Hello everyone, I'm Nick Stasiak and I'm going to kind of uh, go over what's happening right now with Winter Storm Hercules. And the uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with uh, this satellite image uh, that I kind of uh, drew on here. What, I, what I'm showing here, you see the jet stream, uh, the black arrow. There's a major dip in the jet stream and uh, with this major dip in the jet stream, there's always arctic air above. The colder air is above the jet stream. Below the jet stream is the warmer air. Uh, and that's that's why the jet stream is there, to divide them. As the jet stream dips, uh, the arctic air is above it. This arctic air is going to sweep down. The further down the arctic air goes, the colder it gets, the stronger it gets. Now, with this jet stream following it here, we have our uh, cold front. This cold front in this lower low pressure system. What's going to happen tonight as the storm sweeps through, and the low pressure moves off the coast. All these uh, low pressure, low pr uh, <laughs> low pressure clumps here are going to combine, uh, and they're going to get really strong. So, in turn, what's what's going to happen? I'm going to go to this model here. Um, go ahead and move this over. So, what's going to happen here is uh, we have these equal lines lines of pressure. The closer the lines of pressure get, the the faster the winds move. So let's go ahead, we're going to go back today to about 7 p.m. So this is right now. Um, as the jet stream moves across and as the low pressure moves across, uh, you're going to see the winds, winds aren't going to be too bad here. But then uh, later on tonight, the isobars, the, the green lines here, they're going to get really close. And right here about 10 o'clock a.m., right in the heart of it, the winds are going to get uh, really bad there and anywhere uh, at least here where I'm kind of circling around is going to be between 45 and 50 miles an hour as you go up the coast here uh, where there are even closer lines of uh, equal pressure you're gonna see just about the same but more blizzard conditions anywhere from 8 to 12 inches around here where I'm circling around Virginia and Maryland we're looking anywhere from 1 to 3 inches and um, because of this go ahead and look at the uh, winds here and because of this and what I want to kind of focus on uh, is right here um, between 4 a.m. and 1 p.m. Uh, where the winds are going to pick up to about 46 to 50 miles an hour uh, because of the isobars and the uh, pressures to moving um, and what's causing this is low pressures moving off the coast uh, and high pressure is moving in so uh, that's kind of what's going on with the storm, and uh, I'll have more updates.